Welcome back everyone and in this video I am going to be not even playing ladder bro I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm not even playing ladder right now dude like <laughs> I'm just playing this one little mode you know the, like just a simple 1v1 mode that has you know the um season tokens you can get from it and stuff like that well I'm playing that because I am playing the suspicious bush and let me be quite honest with you guys between you and I Bro, I am not confident in playing with the Suspicious Bush just yet because this is my first time playing it for you guys. Um, so I didn't want to just roll straight into top ladder not knowing how to play the card, but I figured that this would probably be like, you know, the best Royal Giant deck for sure with the Suspicious Bush because it is basically the really strong Royal Giant cycle deck um, that has the Skeletons and has the Evos, not the Evo Spirit, the E Spirit. <clears throat> and I'm basically just taking out the skeletons for the suspicious push. So it's still going to be a very, very fast cycle deck and stuff like that. So, um, and I'm playing with Cannoneer as well because Cannoneer is the best power troop for RG in this season. So, um, if you guys do have Cannoneer, um, it is definitely probably in your best interest to play it with Royal Giant, but that is just my opinion. And yeah, so kind of like back to this gameplay. Um, I don't really know exactly how to play the Suspicious Bush, but I figured, you know, you guys probably want to see kind of, you know, content with it and stuff like that. So, yeah, this should be pretty annoying for him to defend, I think. Like, look at this bush, bro. It's being so sneaky, dude. Like, so sneaky. Look at all that damage. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Did you see that? Dude, that thing was just, like, stab, stab. Just, like, and just, like, so much damage took it off, man. It was just, like, a quick pop, pop. That was, like... Those things are strong. When they actually get to the tower, bro, wow. They do a lot of damage. Oh, uh, let's see here. So I think I could just go for my Electro Spirit. And I could just go for my Royal Ghost. I'm gonna go for my second wizard on the defense right here. And that should be a very solid defense. Um okay, cool. My Royal Ghost does take that out. He does go for, or he does go for a minor on top of my wizard, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna go for another suspicious bush. Let's see what this thing can do. I'm gonna go for my royal ghost right here. And uh look at this thing. He has to go for an Evo Zap on top of it. He has to burn an Evo Zap. You know how crazy that is? That is actually ridiculous. I'm gonna go for my evil wizard. And look at this. When this evil wizard takes care of this hound, it's going to completely destroy the barbarians as well. Um Look at my bush. Okay, he just goes for ASAP. <laughs> so, I think right here I can just go for Royal Giants. And everything should be good to go. Um, I'm going to go for a log for the skeletons right there. And I'm going to go for another suspicious bush. Just to completely kind of be very annoying to him. Especially because he has no zap in rotation. So, it is going to pop on his tower. He has to play something for it. Look at all that damage. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is so much damage. I'm just going to go for an RG in the pocket and just completely destroy this guy. So, that's a very, very nice one in the bag. Let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Here is the next match. And I got a decent hand, not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to go for a Suspicious Bush in the back. See what he wants to do, but he does set up for a cage. Thing right here, I can just go for a Void on top of this cage. And everything should be good to go. So, it's going to take care of that, but he does actually Void Block. I'm just going to go for a Royal Ghost, plus a Log, plus my Electro Spirits for the Bats, and everything should be good to go. And, uh, yeah, so let's see what he wants to do to defend this bush right here. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so I do got a second one in my hand, just in case he wants to do anything funny. He has to go for Royal Recruits. I'm just going to go for a Wizard in the back to set up some defense here. And, yeah, so let's see. I'm going to go for my Fisherman right here. And I'm going to... That's very, very annoying. Not gonna lie, this sounds extremely stupid. I don't know why I kind of thought that was a void. I've been playing against so much void recently that, like, my brain just wants to play a card right next to it. And even though it was clearly a fireball, it was clearly a fireball. I don't know why I still dropped the ghost right there. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. It is what it is, though. You know, we'll bounce back. We'll bounce back. We're totally fine here. So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for my Royal Giants right here at the bridge see what he wants to do He does go for zappies a void plus log does actually full kill the zappies So that is very nice I'm gonna go for my Electra spirits for the barbarian and the bats as well just for a very nice damage Look at my RG is completely going to town I'm gonna go for my Royal Ghost right here and there's really nothing else I can do I'm just gonna go for another suspicious bush at the bridge maybe force out like a goblin cage or something so my RG 
can pop off for the next attack and that actually does bait out the cage which is super nice for me so yeah um very very solid and i'm going to just reset a little bit right here um he does have the damage lead which is actually a little scary but if i play really good defense you know i got the wizard i got the ghost plus the log that is very good aoe damage so hopefully i don't throw this match because i kind of do feel like it is my matchup with all this like splash cards I just gotta play the defense as well. I'm gonna go for my log right here, plus my royal ghost, plus my electric spirits, and everything should be good. I'm gonna go for a second wizard right here, and uh, yeah, he's gonna go for zappies. Okay, I do bait the cage out, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> um, please, fisherman, do not actually go over there. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna go for my royal ghost, and he does go for recruits at the bridge. Very, very skillful play by this guy. I'm gonna go for my evil wizard right here and oh gosh um this is kind of scary okay 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 i think we're chilling i think we're chilling um i'm just gonna quick drop a royal giant right here just right in this guy's face plus another suspicious bush okay he does go for a goblin cage um i could just go for my log on top of this thing right here and he does go for arrows my rg does get one shot this is a very, very close game. I'm going to go for my Electric Spirit right here. I'm going to go for my Royal Ghost. I'm going to go for my Wizard right in front of these piggies. I'm going to go for my Log just in case that gets too much damage. He does go for a Fireball. I'm going to go for my Suspicious Bush. Completely annoy this guy. Oh, it pops already. But my Royal Ghost. Perfectly. Let's go for the next game. Here is the next match against Art Adam. I'm going to go for my Royal Ghost in the back. See what he wants to do here. And yeah. He does go for a wizard in the back. I'm going to go for my bush in the back. And I'm going to drop a void on top of this wizard so he doesn't get any kind of like attack off on it. He does actually miss his zap on top of the bush, which is actually really, really nice for me. So now that bush is going to be a pretty annoying threat for him for sure, unless he has like another spell. I'm going to go for Royal Giants at the bridge because he has no mini P.E.K.K.A. in rotation. I'm going to go for a wizard on top of these minions to kind of threaten him even a little bit more. And look at all this damage I'm getting. He is playing Sparky. Okay. Um, that's a little scary, bro. That is actually a little scary. Look at all that bush damage, though. I just realized that. That is so much damage right there. I feel like right here, depending on what he does. Um, yeah, he's not even going to go for a giant. So right here, I could just go for a log. If you play like a giant or like a goblin giant, I could just go for a fisherman in the middle and get a lot of value because I am playing the cannoneer. So double cannoneer against like any kind of giant just shreds it pretty much. Um, yeah, he does go for his evil wizard in the back. Um, I could just go for my royal ghost in the back, see what I want to do here. Um, okay, he does go for a goblin giant, and I'm going to go for my fisherman right here. I'm going to also play a void. That is actually a really nice void block. I don't know if that was like intentional, but that's actually a little sketchy. Oh, but my third void shot actually does full, full damage it, so... Um, that's actually really good. And look at the bush, bro. Look at the bush. Let's see what he does for it. He has to go for minions. And minions and mini P.E.K.K.A. out of rotation. He really has nothing good for this RG anymore. He literally has nothing good. So this RG should take the tower, which is going to be super, super nice for me. He has to play a Dark Prince. He played that Dark Prince extremely late. Knowing, or yeah, with that being said, since he played it so late, I know he doesn't have that much elixir. So that's why I'm playing that bush right there. I'm going to go for my fisherman right here. I'm going to go for my electric spear just to pull this dark prince. And he does go for a sparky in the back. Um, I think right here I could just set up some defense with the wizard. And I want to see if I could just like pull a void off right here. Maybe get some good damage on top of it. He does go for a goblin giant right there, which is totally fine. Um, let's see. I could just go for my suspicious bush in the back right here. Um, I'm going to go for my fisherman for the goblin giant. And yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to go for my log right here. Um, I'm gonna go for my Royal Ghost. And yeah, overall, that's like a very, very good defense. So, he's only got 22 seconds left on the clock. See what he wants to do here. Um, he really can't do anything, bro. He just simply cannot do anything right now. I'm gonna go for a Void on top of this Sparky. Just be very, very annoying to this guy. And I'm just going to pocket drop an RG. And, uh, yeah, that is basically game, bro. Um, this deck is actually pretty good. Like I said, I don't really know how to play the Suspicious Bush that much, but I'm telling you, dude, this deck actually has a ton of potential, bro. So, give this deck a try. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more next time.